And that's what we like about you. And that's how we're going to kill you. And that's what we like about you. Remember? They stuffed us in Freddy suits and it was a total nightmare. That's right. Well, this time it's time for a preemptive strike. <laughs> what the? Uh, Landry, you're still inside the Fred Bear. This, this doesn't make sense at all, unless I'm... Already dead? No, no, this can't be. No, I don't want to be. Uh-oh, then what happened to me? No, I am also in the suit. No, don't take me! Ah! And that's what we like about you. On the table, I finally have enough nerve to look at the Five Nights at Freddy's collectible articulated action figures from Funko. There are five different figures to collect, but by collecting all five, you can build a six figure. Let's look at these a little bit closer. Oh god, not that close. This review is going to send me to therapy for sure. Let's begin with our main bear, Freddy, outside of his package already. You may have seen some things or want to unsee some things. Stylistically, these figures look pretty good. Very good likeliness to our favorite characters from Five Nights at Freddy's. With the detailing, sculpting, and overall look, pretty good. There's a few missing features, like I believe Freddy has a handprint or something on his head. Things like that don't really show up, if they're there at all. But for the most part, as action figures go, look pretty good. We should mention the back of the box says, not a toy. And this is, for sure, a collectible articulated action figure. Freddy and the other toys are built off of ball joints, and they work pretty well. You can get them into some pretty good positioning, but if you're not careful, they'll pop off really easily. It does give them that endoskeleton look, though, which is kind of neat. They're all silver. They simply pop back on, but if you want to play rough with these, Things are going to pop off really easy, and it's really easy to extend a ball joint. Say if I wanted to have him seated, he really can move this leg so much, and then, oh, there goes a knee joint. But there's some pretty good range. Mostly with ball joints, you know, you get that 360 in some ways, and then in other ways, you don't really get much out of it. But you can see, I'm being able to position him in a lot of spots. Wrists, elbows, shoulders, neck. 360 rotation, knees again, hips, and no ankles it looks like. One thing I really appreciate of these toys is the solid footprint. You can make sure that they stand pretty well, so good design on that. But that is Freddy, and just looking at him, there is a lot of character in this little bear, and he's kind of scary. <laughs> and Freddy comes with the right arm of Springtrap. Wave hello, Springtrap. That's good and creepy. Next we have Chica, who is also already out of the box, and she comes with a cupcake on a plate. Cupcake doesn't really hold on there, you just kind of rest on her hand. And Chica's pretty much like Freddy with all the same articulation points. A uh, good figure too, very brightly colored yellow with orange, very vivid orange legs and the let's eat bib on her front there. Oops, lost another limb. There's a lot of life going on with these figures, surprisingly, especially those eyes. The way they are sunken in the head yet stand out. Now I guess we'll take a look at Bonnie. Just stop, stop the madness. Oh, and I forgot to say that uh, Chica comes with uh, one of Springtrap's legs. What a kick. Here is Bonnie, or Bonnie, in his package, and this is how they all are packed away. A pretty visible blister card box, 
Really good for display if you're not into opening these. I am really interested to see how Bonnie's ears work. On the back of the packages, just the figures that are in the series and a call out on that building your own spring trap. So it looks like it will be pretty difficult to get Bonnie to hold on to that guitar. Look how you can only really get the guitar in like so on the hand. You couldn't do it like so. Well, maybe no, it kind of just has to be held with the thumb and the fingers on the outside. So it's kind of hard to get a cool playing position with the guitar. If you can figure that out, let me know. I'm sure someone can. And as for the figure goes, again, the same points of articulation all over, but this is just a nice purple uh, figure. Ears are not ball jointed though. I was kind of hoping we'd have a joint up here to kind of move these ears around for fun. Uh, Bonnie, uh, fun fact, is the only one without eyebrows, I think. Where's uh, his eyebrows? Interesting. Does have a tail back here though. That's cute. A little added extra feature. I was going to say that there is no waist rotation to. It kind of looks like it might be, but there is no waist rotation. But that's okay. I think there's still quite a lot of fun. This elbow is just not liking me. So there's Bonnie. Next up is everyone's favorite, Foxy. And Foxy feels a lot different than the first three that we looked at. A lot more spindly in the design and definitely heavily damaged. What is this guy responsible for the bite of 1987? Or was that 86? I don't know. There's a lot of dates going on. Fun figure though, and I think that if you're going to pick up any one of these, this might be my first choice, although maybe a little harder to find on the shelf. Foxy has that cool eye patch going on. Pretty good movement on those neck pieces. And man, these scary hands. Oh, they break off kind of easy on Foxy. Definitely more for show than play. Foxy comes with the main body of Springtrap. Now that is terrifying. I'm just really going to enjoy not sleeping tonight. There is the body of Springtrap, which is kind of a good bonus. That's the largest piece of Springtrap. And just for fun, show and tell, I picked up the Foxy plush. Well, it's enormous compared to Foxy here. Uh, this is really a cute plush toy. The plushes over at Walmart were about $10, so that was the cheapest price I've seen on plushes. And uh, even Foxy and these figures are available at Walmart, so probably the cheapest prices I've seen on them, or maybe just picking them up online. Wave goodbye, Foxy. Oh, sorry. Well, at least you tried. Next up we have Golden Freddy, a character I will probably never see in gameplay due to my ridiculous level of inability of doing anything wise. Golden Freddy is activated by a series of weird events in the game I believe on how playing. Kind of a fun little variant for a toy. Probably easy to do, the body looks pretty much the same as Freddy. Just a different painted head I think. I don't see too much differences. His eyes are glazed over and painted a nice shiny black, but for some reason appears completely different to me, even though it is probably the same. So you get to pick your favorite bear, gold or regular. I think I would go with regular. Pew! And Golden Freddy comes with the left arm of Springtrap. Wave hello. And let's find the rest of Springtrap here. Where did I put him? Okay, here's a leg, torso and head, another leg, and another arm. So it should be really easy to build, obviously, since we've been knocking off pieces of the figures all afternoon. Uh, just make sure you get your left and right. So there we go. Oh, geez. Easy, easy. Make sure to put this leg with the red on this side if you're having trouble figuring out which side that goes. That's what the box says. Kind of helps you out. And there is Spring Trap, a truly hideous. I believe Spring Trap is mainly featured in the third game. Wow, this guy's really been beat up. Very cool but not something you would take to a wedding. A quick group shot of all our characters. Again, overall, stylistically, they look great. They make for a good representation of the Five Nights at Freddy's crew. 
but for a playable toy, that's not what they really are for. But I'm sure you'll figure out a way. Five Nights at Freddy's. Collectible articulated action figures from Funko are available on store shelves summer 2016 for around $12. I have seen them at Walmart and Target, probably pretty much anywhere you can find them. Pick these up if you are into the game and or scaring your grandma by placing them in various positions around her decorative furniture in her house. That's what I have to say about that. I don't like jump scares. <laughs> hey, knock it off. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. You know, Barry, this isn't all that bad. At least we're a little taller. Yeah, now we can get into theme parks much easier, ride the rides, and get the snacks. I guess it was worth it getting sucked into a Fredbear suit after all. <laughs>